183 is not the only uh, 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 thing which is regulated by the Supreme Court rules. If your lordship would have the 1980 Supreme Court rules in front of you, there are there are the different types of uh, jurisdiction which shall are available to you. Shall we finish with the Act quickly? Or okay, I'll finish with the Act, my lord. Exercise of original jurisdiction of the Supreme Court. Any matter invoking exercise of original jurisdiction under Clause 3 of Article 184 of the Constitution shall be first placed before the committee constituted under Section 2 for examination. And if the committee is of the view that a question of public importance with reference to enforcement of any of the fundamental rights conferred by Section 1 of Part 2 of the Constitution is involved, it shall constitute a bench comprising not less than three judges of the Supreme Court of Pakistan, which may also include the members of the committee for adjudication of the matter. I will simply say on this thing that this is... On your right side, but not Jee. as much right as previously. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes Maharaj. Over here, question, so your associates can note this. This power that Section 3 purports to con confer on the committee with regard to examine ex the question and therefore act as a gateway perhaps, is this a power or is this a judicial power or is this an administrative slash statutory power My because 183 is ultimately a judicial power because power. then it seems to me that the, the latter part of this section says it shall constitute a bench that seems to imply that the power exercised by the committee is not a judicial power but an administrative power so can parliament whittle down this is a question, please note. Yes, it's not the question. And in fact, that, 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 is, is, that, that will be exactly my supposition. Please, the, please here is Lordship. So, <laughs> can the parliament whittle down the judicial power under 184.3 by providing that this committee will act as a gateway and block out in exercise of administrative power anything that the committee feels? Three judges, not the whole of the Supreme Court, but three judges. Senior most, most respectful judges, but in the end, just three judges. Block out any case that they, in exercise of administrative power, they will deprive the Supreme Court from exercising judicial power. So you kindly note the question and you address it at an And I will go even further than and, that. Manon. And also a supplemental and also a supplementary question yes. connected to this. Earlier, the justice solely had this power. So, there was a likelihood that the outcome of the cases could also have been influenced by the constitution of the bench. So, that was, that eroded the independence of judiciary. If this argument is accepted, then the earlier traditional model would be acceptable to you that one person can actually control the outcomes of the cases by constitution of benches and this probably was the mischief that the parliament wanted to address i i would i, I would I if would, i may add uh, there is a judgment of this court and the judicial uh, pronouncement on that as to what procedure would be followed by the Chief Justice to invoke jurisdiction and to invoke jurisdiction of this court under Article 183. And it says where the a bench, three member bench, two member bench, but a bench comes to the conclusion that there is a matter of public importance. Uh, affecting fundamental rights, fundamental rights they may recommend to the honorable chief justice that a bench be constituted and the honorable chief justice after seeing the reasons that the bench has assigned for recommending he may or may not but at least he would recall
reasons why he thinks he disagrees with the recommendations or thereafter he can proceed and so there is a judicial pronouncement on that yes, already I, in place. In fact, Ajay sir, I'm sorry, I, since may I say Honorable I, Chief Justice has said that we can only ask questions and not for you to respond immediately. So let me with all due respect uh, ask a supplemental to what my supplement, what the supplemental put to you by my learned brother, uh, colleague uh, Justice Atar Minallah. It seems to me that the power to constitute a bench, which is the subject matter of section 2, constituting a bench does not block the exercise of judicial power. It simply determines which is the bench that is to exercise judicial power. Yeah. But my question to you is that section 3 seems to do, go beyond that. Section 3 is separate from section 2. It actually blocks, it confers on the three-member committee ac uh, exercising administrative powers to actually block the exercise of judicial powers. It's not a question of constitution of benches. They can say, sorry, out, nothing further, matter ends. The question is, is this, so this is not a question of composition of benches. That is power universally on them in terms of section 2. The question here, it seems to me, is the very blocking of the judicial power itself. Can constitution, uh, excuse me, parliament do that? Question is maybe noted. And I, can so I, you don't have to answer. No, no, I'm, not answer carry on. I'm not answering. I'm not The honorable well, chief justice said you're, you carry on with your solution. Your honor has the this thing. I may add one thing to it. It also deprives me of my right, which they have said that they are passing this thing under Article 10A of the Constitution. Here, uh, if Section 3 is there, I am being condemned. I am not being heard. Who is the that? party is yeah, not being please, heard. Uh, who it, is, who is, is, who is when you are using the word I, who is the I here? Litigant. The litigant. Because so, when I... One second. Tahammul. The litigant. The, that leads me to another question. Are uh, your petitioners, do they have an interest in the matter or they've come purely as a matter of public interest? No, I am looking at section 3. No, no, I'm not talking that. I'm not asking a question of the petitioners. Do they have an interest in any case why they brought this challenge or they brought it in the public interest? Which is the, what is the answer? Answer to that is uh, that uh, it's a public interest. You have no personal interest in the matter. No, you are no, your client. I, I have no personal interest. You meaning your client. Well, let me say this thing. You know, I, I just want to know an answer me, to that. Myself and Mr. Uh, 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 Siddiqui, we are doing this as pro bono. We are doing it because we want to know, we want to... I don't know who, you're, who you're speaking for. Are you speaking for counsel? Are you speaking for petitioners? I'm speaking for the petitioner and I'm saying this thing that we brought this petition in the, point in, noted. in the interest. You got the answer. Got the answer. In now the, please proceed. I've got the answer. Uh, you got, uh, in, in the interest that, it, that, it, that it, the it. law should take its course. The constitution must be upheld. Tick, tick. And I'm also saying that I'm sure with uh, with such preliminaries sitting there, of uh, uh, the whole ob object is that uh, uh, first of all, the independence of the judiciary should not be in any manner smeared by any other institution. And uh, secondly, uh, Fajr Sahib, uh, please. I, I will not, uh, not, we are not going to I not, I will not make a political so, speech. Fajr Sahib, I, I, I'll refrain from that. Fajr Sahib, yes, sir. Fajr Sahib, <coughs> just, just a confusion which you can answer later. So what you are saying is that the untrammeled, unaccountable powers of the Chief Justice exclusively to decide constitution of benches, you were satisfied with that and that fulfilled <coughs> the conditions of Article 10A. But if it is done by the Chief Justice and two senior judges, you have an objection to that. That's no, your proposition. I think uh, your, your Lordship is uh, possibly not uh, 